Lisa Galliani, and I'm Chief Executive at Independent Arts. Thank you, Lisa. So, first of all, can you please start by telling me what you are doing at Independent Arts and why? Okay, well, Independent Arts are really the best kept secret on the Isle of Wight. We're um, we're a fabulous little charity that hardly anybody's known about, um, and we use arts to change lives and create a sense of well-being and ta- and to tackle isolation. So when lockdown started back in March last year, we thought, not exactly hurrah, but we thought our job is really beginning all over again because more people are feeling isolated. Fast forward to a few weeks ago, uh, Susie Sheldon got in touch with one of our trustees to talk about an idea that uh, that she and a few others had had about setting up an online gallery for islanders to submit work and uh, experience the pleasure, really, of of not only doing something creative but having it showcased. Well, unbeknown to, to, to that little group, Um, Independent Arts had already done it. Um, We had funding from the Arts Council in April and we set up the Isolation Gallery. So the reason we're involved now with looking out from lockdown is because we've simply added an extension uh, to our pre-existing Isolation Gallery and this will allow many more islanders to submit anything um, that, uh, that they're doing, which is giving them a little bit of joy um, that they would like to share with other islanders um, over, over the next few months. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Lisa. And what kind of things are you looking for? Because I know there is quite a vast range of things. So, for example, do you want to explain a bit if, you know, people want to put forward some gardening, da, 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 things like that? Yeah. yeah. Well, we, we, know, we know from the experience of uh, this pandemic that people are being incredibly uh, uh, creative and they're turning to, you know, they're turning to baking, they're turning to gardening, uh, many are turning to painting uh, and photo diaries and, and, and things like this. And of course, uh, some people are also turning to music making and songwriting. And so we want this, um, this, this site to be an exploration of all those different genres. So um, it, yes, it's arty. Um, but it ha- doesn't have to be just about painting. Um, we're looking for poetry, short stories, uh, gardening projects, um, maybe even mini DIY projects, um, and, 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 of course, cooking and baking and that sort of thing. So anything that you're doing which is making uh, lockdown slightly less boring um, and uh, slightly more uh, therapeutic, um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a category for you. Brilliant, Lisa. And how can people um, submit their ideas? So, uh, what we'd like is people to submit uh, finished, ready to share uh, uh, results of what they're doing. Um, and that's really easy from the site itself, um, which is isolationgallery.com, um, and then you'll find it. Or you can access it through the Independent Arts website, which is just independentarts.org.uk. And there's a, there's, a, there's a join in button. And we just ask people to press that and it will take you to uh, an, an email uh, form and you upload your file. So basically you need to photograph what you're doing, whether it's gardening or if you've, if you've written a poem, um, you could photograph your poem that you've either typed or you've or you've written out in your in, in, in your own handwriting and you upload that just as you would attach any file to an email and off it goes. Brilliant Lisa. Um that makes it sound very easy. That's brilliant. Um and obviously in the long term the idea is to have all of this um you know big massive exhibition and sort of a launch, is that right? Yeah the the idea is well it's twofold really one is that we'd like to have some record a positive record of the lockdown experience um to showcase um island wide when 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 everyone's vaccinated and when when lockdown lifts so we we're going to be working with a lot of different <clears throat> venues from um yacht clubs through to uh, heritage venues and of course arts uh, venues as well, all sorts of interesting places in the communities where people live, so that afterwards we can share and, and show uh, physically 
some of the results of all this creativity. And we also recognise that a digital gallery isn't going to be accessible to everybody. And unfortunately, I can't wave a magic wand and make um, digital equality a thing over the next few months. Um, so we recognise that some people will do things, might be lovely paintings or some pottery or some sculpture, but they, but they can't uh, have or they don't have access to being able to photograph it um, correctly and to upload it and share it. For those people, we'd say, hang on to your great things. Um, and wait for the call, basically, or let us know that you're doing it. And again, you can just email us through the site as well or, um, or, or keep things on standby. And um, As soon as we're able to uh, publicise a list of venues that will be accepting uh, dropped, dropped off submissions in person, um, we'll, we'll be coming back to you at Isle of Wight Radio and asking you to promote it. Thank you so much. Um, what else I wanted to ask you was, Susie mentioned something about a time capsule. So how long, obviously we know that, yeah, like you've just said, online exhibitions not quite the same and it's sort of you know, not accessible to everyone. But can you just explain what she means by the sort of time capsule? I mean, how long is it going to go on for? Is this going to be something that people can look back on for years to come and go, oh, do you remember that hideous lockdown? But look how creative people were. Yes, I think, I mean, we haven't fully formed a plan on this because it's all come about rather quickly, to be honest with you. So we're making it up a little a bit as we go along but um i have little doubt that elements of these uh, of this creative out outpouring um which is what it is really um will be will be captured uh and encapsulated and and archived so that future generations and even our own younger generations today can can look back in years to come and say yeah that's that's how the isle of wight tackled lockdown we had this pandemic, the first one in a hundred years, and this is how we coped. And I think it'll be fascinating. So there are enough archivists on the island um, that, uh, that that we're all joined up in and, and working together that we'll be able to ensure that a, a snapshot, not necessarily everything, but a representative sample of this creative outpouring will be kept for future posterity. Brilliant, Lisa. Thank you so much. And is there anything else that you would like to mention that you think I might have missed that islanders might need to know? Um, well, I would like to mention that, as I say, independent arts are really the best little charity on the island that nobody's heard of. Um, and that we, just before Christmas, we were about to open our fabulous creative hub um, in Newport in the former monsoon shop. And uh, we're really proud of this. It's been a huge... Uh, investment on our part and thanks to um, lots of lovely funders that have helped it happen but of course we'd no sooner opened a week before Christmas than we've had to close um, but we would love for you to come down and, and uh, uh, as you said do a, perhaps do a face-to-face -face interview and a, and a video of our creative hub which will of course be a, a premier destination for this looking out from lockdown uh, live exhibit in due course.